Big news overnight while you were sleeping. Firefighter Air, Firefly rather, Aerospace of Cedar Park. They landed their first spacecraft on the moon. Y'all select the landing. We're on the moon. There it is. Blue Ghost sent a fleet of NASA instruments to study the moon's environment ahead of human exploration. And no crew was on board, but the, as you can see there, the teams watched from Missions Operations Center in Cedar Park as that spacecraft touched down to the lunar surface. Now it landed in Mare Crisium. That's a basin on the near side of the moon. The equipment will stay there for one lunar day, which is about two weeks here on Earth. The lander will perform experiments that include drilling, dust mitigation, and X-ray imaging of Earth's magnetic field. It's a busy couple of weeks. Firefly also hopes to capture data during the lunar sunset for future moon missions. It will survive probably about five hours into, into sunset is the plan. Uh, so we'll be using that time to, to get back as much data as we can. You know, it's, it's, it's a gold mine of scientific data. So, you know, every, every hour that the lander stays alive, we'll be, we'll be blasting power through our radios to get all the data back to the Earth. Yeah, and again, they are from right here in Cedar Park. This is the first of three scheduled NASA missions for Firefly. The next one is scheduled next year, and then that will go to the far side of the moon. The third mission will take a rover to the surface in 2028.